Hey everybody, welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. That annoying noise behind me is our sprayer doing some agitation. Uh, we have our chemical in there that we are going to spray our horrible corn maze cornfield with. So I, like I said, I just have that set on agitation. Just have the little 60 gallon sprayer on today. Uh, has a 24 foot boom. It'll do about four acres at a time. Um, but uh, I like that it's three point hitch so you only have the tractor tires to worry about. I mean, as it is, we're gonna run a little bit of corn over. Nothing we can do about that. So we have to get those weeds sprayed out of there. So if we lose a little bit of corn, it's better than what it is now. So. Um, so while that agitates a minute, I will show you the product that I picked. This is what we're spraying, Barrage HF. Um, it has a listing on it for uh, corn, soybeans. There's even, uh, I used it on a hay field before. This was actually a product I had in the cabinet over there. and. What I did about a week ago is we mixed up a little one gallon sprayer with a mixture and we went down and I sprayed just a little bit here and there and it seemed to work pretty good. The weeds are dying back. I don't know if it's going to completely kill them off because they're so big and thick at this point, but they're pretty well shriveled down and kind of fallen over. I'll show you when we go down. Um, even as they are now not completely dead, they are going to allow the corn to get the sunlight and take the nutrients because we're going to have to fertilize, top dress the field again. So even if they don't die and they just shrivel up for a month and then they start coming back, that's going to give the corn a chance to really take off and kind of choke them out a little bit anyway. So at this point, anything's better than what it is. So I'm going to let that mix and I will see you guys down in the cornfield. All right, we got the sprayer opened up down here. Still agitating for now. I'll take you over here and show you. This first spot was a spot that I sprayed twice. And you can see that it uh, kind of had a little negative effect on, I mean, the corn right here in this corner is tiny anyway. It gets bigger there. Um, this had a negative effect on the corn, but right over here, is where I sprayed um, just the once and you can see that the corn still looks pretty good uh, but the weeds have really shriveled over pretty good so this was a little test corner I did and then I did another section over here that I'll show you quick you can probably almost see it if I wasn't walking here but here's another section I did you can kind of see along in here the corn how it's still standing but the weeds aren't you know you can kind of see that cutoff line there so um, so that was the test I did like I said that was over a week ago so um, I would think that if the corn was going to be damaged it would have happened by now so uh, I had done some oops sorry done some test fitting with tractors this morning the one that I have the tires are almost set in a little too far. This one, they're almost out a little bit too far. Uh, but uh, we're just going to go with this one. It was kind of set up for the sprayer already. So, um, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to spray all this today. Like I said, we're going to lose some of the corn. Most of the corn I planted in this direction. Uh, the rows are closer together. When I did the opposite direction to close off the sort of the pathways, I made those rows a little further apart. So by going this way, we're actually losing less corn. And I don't know if you can see down there, there's actually one of the pathways to the corn maze. So this tire track is going to land right into that pathway where we don't want corn anyway. So um, I may end up leaving some little patches with weeds, partially because I want to make sure because of that, that it kind of killed some of the corn that I don't overlap and kill off some of my corn. And the other thing is I'm going to try and run the tractor as best I can. So it coincides with some of the walkways that are in there already. 
so again I'm smashing less corn so um, we're gonna give it a go this corn over here is some of the shorter corn you can see it it's uh, it's about waist waist high right now like I said this is some of the shorter stuff there's a patch over there that this has been corn on corn but there's a patch over there that was fallow last year and had pumpkins the year before and that corn is over like a foot tall or we're gonna have trouble getting through it but it needs to be sprayed so anyway enough of me rambling on let's get to it finish the spraying you can see the corn we're on the other side of the cornfield you can see it's uh, quite a bit taller here than it is on the other end like I said this was the side that was not corn on corn uh, for the last few years so you can see a noticeable difference here the weeds of course are still big but uh, yeah uh, I had uh, it was tight getting through some places um, the, especially over here on this side I mean the corn was over the uh, weight brackets on the front of the tractor there so we were getting about down to the end of when we should be doing this but um, from the point that we did that little test plot it that day was the last nice day and then it rained and rained and rained and rained and rained and rained I and mean, it was absolutely miserable so this is the first chance we've had to do this and in fact uh, this is the weekend now next week again it's not supposed to be as rainy as last week, but I think there's still scattered showers in there. So um, this was just a chance that we really had to do it. So um, normally we, we don't really spray the corn for weeds or do anything because that uh, pre-emerge works and then we'll just get mild weed pressure. We don't even worry about it. So this year was kind of a learning experience. Um, so I guess we'll be better prepared for next year, but uh, yeah. So I will keep you guys updated on how this looks, whether I've completely killed off the corn, uh, whether I didn't kill any of the weeds, or if it works, or whatever. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, a video next week sometime uh, on that. So uh, anyway, so thanks for watching this video. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. And I uh, appreciate everybody watching. We'll catch you guys on the next video.